I refuse to apologize for all the ivy that I have in my builds because honestly, it's a look. It's 100% a look. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Before we begin, <laughs> I do have something I want to announce. So I, on my Instagram, I had like a little challenge going where whoever submitted any idea for a build, I'd do a dedications video for you if you were chosen on the random wheel selector. And that being said, not that many people actually entered. I mean, I'm a relatively small YouTuber. I'm a small channel, small page, whatever. And, um... I wanted to do two people because obviously like, I think I had like five, six people and I was like, you know, what? I'll do two. That seems to be more interactive, I guess, with the people that currently follow me now. So I just decided that I was going to do, you know, two videos instead of one and they will be, I think already by the time this video is up, I will have notified them, but stick around for... Sunday and Tuesday that is when those videos will be out but without further ado let's get into this build so I am making a tiny Victorian tiny Victorian sounds really cute but this is not actually a tiny Victorian per se this is a small home it has I think 93 tiles it is not a hundred because a hundred and below is what constitutes a small home and then like I think the lower you get like the 68 and then 32 then you have micro slash you know tiny but here's the thing i do not like doing micro homes i don't like doing them doesn't mean i won't do them because i will but i just don't like doing them because i don't know what it is it gives me a lot of anxiety and i do not like i play the sims to not deal with anxiety so <laughs> i'm sorry guys um i most definitely will maybe think of a concept that would easily work with a micro thing but as of yet I'm having a real hard time trying to think of any like micro home living more than two people or people that actually have to live on that lot. So <laughs> just thinking about that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, so here's something that actually really, I wouldn't say bothered me, but was giving me a hard time. So in Victorian homes, you don't have ladders per se taking you up to a second floor. That's something that's a more modern contemporary concept where you can have a ladder connecting the first and second floor um that's not like a remote like i don't know like leading you to the attic uh so i decided that i had to find a creative way to hide those stairs and make them incorporated into the build and i think it actually turned out pretty well uh this is not a very active skill building home i figured it was just like for a family of three i made a family of three like i think i didn't put them up on the gallery because they were modded to filth i mean <laughs> They were modded to filth. I had everything from the hair to the clothes modded and CC'd and I could not put them up because when I put things up on the gallery, I, it's my rule, my self-imposed rule that they are accessible to the people that are downloading them. So usually they either have to be like a limited pack thing or they just have to be of the packs that currently The Sims have put out. So I wasn't going to do all that. But I do have linked below my Tumblr where I favorite all of the CC that I use, especially like the Victorian slash um 19th 18th and 17th century i don't really think they have that much six, a 17th century stuff out there they have like random pieces here and there but that's something i would actually like to get into being a cc creator because i am a historical sims player like in my own personal gameplay i love playing with the historic like i was gonna say historicality no that, that's goofy <laughs> I love playing historical sims and I love everything like right now I'm watching Outlander that is a um realistic fiction show a re re realistic historical fiction show check it out if that's your thing it's really good I'm not going to spoil it for you um but I found it on Amazon I had to like you know do like the seven day trial thing but oh my god guys check that out that is the best so yeah that being my that being right up my alley uh right up my crack no <laughs> gross what is wrong with me that being my thing um i love making like you know victorian things i love just i don't know like the whole style of that period is something that like tickles my fancy i i, I know that's like a term but really it makes me feel so dirty saying that tickle my fa oh uh gross nasty but like i said this isn't a sasha builds video without like a whole bunch of ivy because i just won't i love the aesthetic of it i love like the overgrown thing going on and that's something i'm gonna keep doing until the foreseeable future until at least i get tired of it and 
one thing that I put a lot of attention into is the landscaping of my builds, which I don't know about you guys, but landscaping brings me so much joy because it's making something pretty out of flowers. I personally have like a little garden thing going on. I have my flowers that are growing out backyard and it makes me so happy seeing them grow and knowing that like I kind of facilitated them into existence. I don't, <laughs> that sounds like such a God complex thing. I'm so sorry. But yeah, making things pretty out of flowers and seeing like a really intricate garden makes me happy. So I made like this entire path lined out of flowers and maybe it looks busy to some of you guys but I thought it looked personally elegant and it kind of leads into this um, gazebo area where you can sit and make out I don't know like if, should that be something you want to do you have that option but it looks very romantic very cute and um, maybe you could do like a generations things where this home gets passed down and it's renovated and that could be something really interesting. I don't know. This build is accessible. I think it uses like seven packs, which is no limit. It's not limited by any scope of stretch of the word, but you know, if that's something you wish to do, I would love to see you guys do that. But anyway, uh, we are getting, no, we are not that close to the end of the video. Are we? Let me check. Mm, no, we're not close enough to do the outro. <laughs> Sorry guys, I almost jumped the gun there. But yeah, so um I that's my thing is that I freak, I can't always pick the right landscaping paint to make sure that it all looks right. I, I don't know, that's something that makes it look more realistic. I wasn't going to use outdoor garden stuff or like fancy garden things here but once I saw those big ass flowers in different colors I had to use them I really couldn't let them go and so that's how I went from being like a six pack build to like a seven pack build because I saw it I decided to go crazy I went ham and I added all these flowers everywhere because you know what life is better when it's colorful you don't have to agree but that's my mantra and um life's been pretty good living by that <laughs> and uh, I think I include some pictures of where I had like this kissing photo op thing so stay tuned for that but anyway we are actually in fact getting very close to the end of the video so if you like this video or any other videos I have up on my channel please consider leaving a like commenting and subscribing because that lets me know you like my content and I'll be sure to leave you videos every other day but that being said I love having you guys with me and I'll see you guys next time bye <music>